hello! In honor of my Disney College program being only 10 days away now, I mean, no time really does fly, and because I'm a little bored, I thought I'd film a little video so you'd get to know me more on a Disney level. So the Disney tag has been floating around for a while on the YouTubes. I thought, I'm a vlogger. I'm going to Disney on my Disney College program. I should do this. I'm gonna answer 17 questions about Disney and comment your answers to the questions down below. I'd love to see if we have the same answers or if we don't. So before I get started, I hereby tag everybody that's planning on vlogging their Disney College program fall 2017 to do this video also, because I'd love to get to know you guys. Let me put on some appropriate headwear. Ooh, ah. And here we go. Number one, pick any scene in any Disney movie you would love to be a part of. One of my favorite scenes in any Disney movie ever would have to be Jolly Holiday from Mary Poppins. I would love to go on a Jolly Holiday with Bert and have penguins dance for me and butterflies fly around me and ride carousel horses. Like, it's just a great day. I want to have it. Number two. What is your most unforgettable moment you've ever had at any Disney park? I got it. So when I was 15, we went to California for a vacation. We went to Universal Studios in Hollywood, um, we, but we also went to Disneyland and it was fantastic, but that's not the magical part. My dad actually knew somebody that is a member of Club 33. If you do not know what Club 33 is, it is an exclusive secret restaurant inside of Disneyland. Walt created it for the people he wanted to impress. Nowadays you have to pay a membership fee of a few thousand dollars to be a part of it and the only way to get a reservation there is to have that membership. My dad had a friend who was a member so he got us a reservation. You have to dress in formal wear to go eat there. It was beyond cool. <laughs> and then we had the most expensive and most delicious meal of my life. That's not even the best part around the restaurant is tons of Disney history and memorabilia and as a history major and just a history nerd for my whole life I wigged out and there was a prop table for Mary Poppins, there was original concept art for the Disneyland park and costume sketches for Disney movies and oh my god it was so amazing. Number three, which non-Disney song brings you back to times in the parks? They play like period music and ragtime music in the Main Street area of Disney World Park. to get you in that Main Street mood. And one of the songs I remember them playing and is one of my all-time favorite songs is Put On Your Sunday Clothes from Hello Dolly. So that always brings me back to times in the park and it's just a happy song like Number four, when was the first time you went to a Disney park? My parents wanted to wait. They wanted me and my brother to be able to remember the first time we went to the park. So I think I went when I was in second grade. Here's a picture. Um, and what's really, really cool about that picture is that every time since that first time, um, we've stopped in to take a picture of the, uh, me and my brother at the park um, in that exact same spot. You can see us growing up by our trips to Disneyland and it's just, it just has a really special place in my heart. Number five, if you could choose any Disney character to be your best friend, who would you choose? I think I'd have to choose BB-8. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love BB-8 so much. I have a meet and greet for him now, and when I meet him, I'm probably gonna cry. BB is just so sassy, and he's so loyal, and you know, he'd just be the best friend to explore and defend the galaxy with. Number six, who's your favorite Disney princess? Cinderella. Number seven, name a scene in any Disney movie that never fails to make you cry last scene in Toy Story 3 when Andy's playing with his toys for the last time and oh my gosh it's just so sad that montage and then I just I cry I cry every time and it's like 
letting go of your childhood and I, I just can't do it. I just can't do it. Number eight. What is the first Disney movie you ever remember seeing? Uh, I couldn't tell you. Who is your favorite Disney character? Tinkerbell. Oh, I have at least 30 Tinkerbell Disney pins. She is the best. Number 10. Who is your favorite Disney villain? So because I'm not totally convinced Hans is a villain, I'm going to have to go with the second fairest of them all, the evil queen. Makeup is always on point. Oh, jealous. Number 11, what is your favorite animated Disney movie? The Little Mermaid. Ugh. When I was little, in every bathtub, or every pool, I'd always be reenacting The Little Mermaid. Uh, I'm still convinced I was meant to be a mermaid and this is the wrong body for me. Number 12, what is your favorite live action Disney movie? Enchanted. Number 13, what is your least favorite Disney movie? Brave. <laughs> I'm blaming that on Brave. Yeah, like I really like the beginning of the movie, the exposition until she meets the witch. But then like, what is the moral of this story? Because I don't, so I'm Merida and because I don't get my way, I'm gonna turn my mom and my little brothers into bears and almost get them killed by my my, my bear crazy dad. Um, like that's traumatizing and I just, what? What is it teaching children? Number 14, what is your favorite Disney song? How could you be so cruel? Probably Little Wonders. It's just so beautiful and it brings a tear to my eye and the montage to it and Meet the Robinsons is part one. Number 15, do you collect anything Disney? I mentioned it earlier, but I collect Disney pins. I love me some Disney pins. I have it. I have over a hundred. I definitely do at this point. Um, so much fun. It's a fun activity to do in the parks and I love the Final Nation pins. They're like my new thing and I just need them all. If, also, if you haven't noticed, I like the bookshelf behind me. I may or may not have a book problem. Like look at all these Disney books. Like it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, and I'm not stopping anytime soon. Number 16, what Disney character has your personality? I am a total Anna from Frozen. She is the epitome of what I am. The optimistic personality, the love of chocolate, the yearning for adventure, and true love. She just epitomizes me in every way. Number 17, if you could change any scene in any Disney movie, what would it be? I would have to go with in The Fox and the Hound when Willow abandons Todd in the forest. Like, if you tr I don't care if he's a fox, if he's your pet, how can you do that? That scene needs to change. It needs to change. And last but not least, number 18. If you had to be stuck on any Disney ride for more than 30 minutes, what would it be? Definitely the Haunted Mansion. Not only is it one of my favorite rides at Disney World, I've actually been stuck on it for more than 30 minutes. Yeah, it was a while ago, but you know, every time I ride it, I see a new fantastic detail. It's it's just a great, it's a great ride. I love it. I'd love to be stuck on it again. And that's the Disney Guide. I can't wait to see everybody's responses to this video. Please subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you real soon.